Hi everyone, New England Gardening here. Just a quick video. I wasn't planning on a video. I just gave the bees a quart of honey and uh, was a little concerned when I opened up the hive because there were a lot of um, larva that had been pulled out of the, their cells. So I do have activity, as you can see here, and there is pollen going in. Um, it's getting cold here in New England already. Um, I think we had a low of 41. It's, it's going to be a low of, 40, of 38 tonight. And it's going to only be in the 60s tomorrow, but then it's going to warm up into the lower 70s. But um, uh, my first thought was maybe of roa mites. And then I thought, well, maybe these are drone brood. Um, and I, I just pulled them all out, helped the bees. They were, what happened was the other day, I don't know what I was thinking. I've got the, these wheels adjusted so it's just these vent holes. And I saw all this white. And I thought, well, those look like uh, I got a mite problem because they look like bees that, um, you know, just a premature or something. So, but uh, I didn't take the time to go into the hive. I, just, I must have got distracted or something. But yeah, um, in the open cavity, which is another problem I was thinking of. Now, you know what, I just could have, I just thought about this, I'm looking. Um, are those, I can't really tell. I should be able to, but I can't tell. If this is a drone, does that look like a drone? So that was my other thought, was that these were, uh, all the drones uh, were uncapped and discarded. Uh, because of the cold temperatures. I didn't think about that. I, th I, I knew about the drones being um, pushed out of the hive, but I didn't think about them. They also go and uncap and pull out all the drone brood. Now, I don't see... I don't see any mites. Maybe that's what I should have done. Is uh, look these over more closely. You can see there's ants and... I guess the yellow jackets do have a purpose. They will be taking all of these. You can see, I probably have maybe two dozen I found in the cavity. Yeah, I think these might be, I don't know, that doesn't look like a drone to me. So, <clears throat> another thought I had, what is that? Is that like, I got this weird thing, like a piece of, I think that's a wing, deformed wing maybe. So I have the Apovar in there, and I gave them one treatment of oxalic acid. But I don't think it went throughout the hive, because I put it into the, uh, the opening here, and I think it just came out the vent holes. So maybe I'll give them another treatment, but let me show you. I don't want to break apart the frames. <clears throat> Right now it's uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Let me open this up. But um, another thing that concerns me, another thought I had was that they were attacked or something. Um, I don't know if these are capping, uh, uncappings or... I've got all this granular material. Um, and I don't know, see the bees are going after the the syrup I just put in. They, I mean, there seems to be enough population that they're always, they're all to the end here. I saw them lined up. But I've got this huge cavity here that I need to reduce with a follower board. I need to make, um, a follower board will be on this side of the feeder. So I might put sugar in here. And then I need to um, modify one of these top bars to accommodate this tab so I can have a piece of wood covering this um, yeah so they are dragging out the bees but maybe I should open up I don't want to open up that other uh, side there because they'd have to guard this huge cavity I was concerned about that but they seem to want to drag out all the bees uh, from this end instead of bringing them through 
all these frames and uh, out the front. So everything accumulated when I opened this up, there were all these carcasses here of um, the larvae that had been pulled out of this cell. So getting a little worried. And then I've got, like I said, this granular material. So what I've been doing is the, the quart jar, I just fill it up completely almost with sugar and then top it off and as it bubbles down through uh, the sugar, uh, I think it's the concentration is so thick that it's not going to dissolve on its own. So I give it a water bath, uh, hot water bath, and eventually dissolves all the sugar. But um, yeah, see there's another bee being dragged out. So I don't know if this is maybe just because of the colder temperatures and the older bees are dying and the drones are, are being expelled uh, from the hive. But Thursday I think it's going to be in like 77. Um, I'll separate all these frames and maybe do a really good oxalic acid treatment by blocking off the vent holes. I've got the two apivar strips, but maybe they're maybe they're too old. Um, I bought these this year, but uh, I'll take a look at the coverage on these frames and see if there's not maybe a more serious situation going on. But they've been taking all the syrup. Maybe they're honey. That's another thought. Maybe they're honey bound. Taking everything out of the cells to um, replace with honey. I don't know. If they're concentrating where all the brood is going to be and replacing uh, all the cells are emptying out with with the uh, syrup but yeah just a quick video I wasn't planning on it it's a little distraught there a little concerned with uh, all these carcasses that I found another thought that I had there's another bee being dragged out was that all the brood booster I was giving them encouraged them to encourage the queen to lay more eggs then uh, they would be able to keep warm with the cooler temperatures and that was the first uh, chilled brood that uh, had to be uh, taken out of the of the comb but yeah I'll have to take a closer look And if you can see here, it's four o'clock, and you can see the sun there and being blocked by the neighbor's uh, maple tree. Pretty much the yard at this time of day is almost all in shade, except for where I've got the Hover Freight greenhouse, and that's where I put the hive all the way down there. I used to have it right about there wouldn't get the sun to maybe like 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, there it gets it first thing in the morning coming up over the house and still gets the sun late in the afternoon And those are, I forget the variety, um, those, that's goldenrod. I didn't realize that uh, goldenrod can get like 10 feet tall. And I just remembered that last year I did not notice any bees on the goldenrod. So it's just starting to open up and there's no bees on it. So I don't know what it is about this particular variety. Uh, I think I got it off of eBay from New York um, or Pennsylvania. But it, uh, they don't seem to be attracted to the goldenrod, this particular one. Maybe this variety is used to uh, blooming earlier in the season. And it's too cool here in New England for it to produce usable pollen or nectar. I don't know. This is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.